So to do the duplication thing um, and everything you want to do, this is the point where you go to do it. So on the very beginning of the game, once you clean up this whole first serene part of the map and you are ready for this mission here, Captain Vasco, tell him you're ready to raise the anchor. You're going to fight a little tree boss guy. Sir, are you ready? So now you leave. Um, make sure to run down here really quick and get this what's in this chest here just for the heck of it You're going to fight this thing the beast is awoken. Uh, What I don't even know how they got this thing in the damn ship I don't even think they realized I beat the boss. But anyway, once you beat him, which you can see it's super easy, you just hit him with a blunt weapon until the, the shield breaks, and then get onto the ship. Get everything you can from that first tutorial island, I guess you could say, and then here you'll have things to dupe, and I will show you now. Once it gets to the island, you can skip this nonsense. How so? My admiral, my no, this is going to make attention. you switch that guy into the party. Yeah, just do it. And now from here. We want to go here, actually. So you're just going to go off the boat and just run all the way down here through this little area here. I've been delivered a message. The commander succeeded in spite of my... And you can see I'm only level five and I have nothing before I do this, this um, trick. Make sure to grab anything along the way because, again, the more stuff you have makes it easier to do um, the glitch. And now I'm, I'm overcumbered. Great. So they want you to go up there. Again, just grab anything that is on the way right up there is where they're going to force you to do a cutscene and switch another person into your party But, if we bypass that. All right, so you don't wanna go um, to that castle. 
because that's going to go to that just a, a cut scene and a bunch of nonsense. You're going to go here. This should pop up your as your accommodation. And this is the first stash box. Um, you get the game on this island. And it is called Descent, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, Descent Sante Residence. It has the fire there, workbench there, and then here. So what you want to do is you're going to need the most important things are going to be open the chest and then look at your inventory. You need items in consumables, ingredients, and junk. Right now it's blank because it's looking at the chest. If I switch to my inventory, you should see I have things here, here. I don't have anything in junk, which isn't good, but I can probably buy something. But junk, junk isn't really needed unless you want to duplicate something in junk. But you can see here, I have things, okay? And you want to go with, for now, just to get it so you can get a big number of something, you want to go with something that you have the most of, which in my case is ammo. But ammo is at the very bottom of the list. And over here, we want it, we want what's going to make us the most money. So I have one ruby, which is 10. So it's probably going to be rubies. But again, ruby isn't at the top of the list. So to get whatever you want to duplicate at the top of the list, you deposit anything else. So I'm going to put the amber in the chest and the pine resin. So now you see I have my ruby. So now if I go to junk or back to ingredients, ruby is at the top of the list. This is how it has to be. And then you need the thing that you're going to dupe um, rubies to a higher account needs to have a high account. So it doesn't matter the value or anything. And the most that we had to have, the thing we had the most of is ammo. So the way this duplication works is as you're switching through these three tabs, it's a trick where you're switching to the tab and opening your chest at the same time, which is on the Xbox, it's LB goes left, RB goes right, and A opens the chest. And it will duplicate whatever the highest number is on top of the number that exists. So for our example, Ruby has one, we're going to take ammo, which is 58, and we're going to make 58 rubies. The way to do this, have in my case, ammo selected, I'm going to hit right bumper A at the same time. If you did it correctly, it does this. You see how it says ammo and it's asking me how much ammo I want to put in the chest. But meanwhile, it has switched to the ingredient screen and you can see Ruby behind me. This is exactly what you want. Now you will deposit the whole amount and you'll notice Ruby is gone, but ammo didn't go. So now if you go to your chest, you don't have to leave, just push Y in my case here, and I go to that section, you're going to see now I have 58 rubies. So it, it takes whatever the highest number is and makes that item that item. But there is a downfall to this. So if I take the ruby out, it's not a, it's not a conventional duplication, right? So now if I go back to my inventory, you see I got 58 and 58. So if I were to do the duplication again, and it worked, because you can see it's ammo and it shows ruby in the background, and I hit yes, the ruby will go into the chest and the ammo will stay as it should. But if I go to the chest, I only have 58 ruby. So how do I get the ruby higher? Well, what you do, take the ruby out, it's just easier to do this, go into your inventory, Go to Ruby and put um, 57 in or whatever amount you have. So you have back to one again. So now we have 57 in the chest and one. Now we can duplicate. So now we're going to duplicate that one back to 58. Again, right bumper A. You see it has worked. Boom. Ruby is gone. Ammo is still here. So now if I go to the chest, here's the crazy part about this. Now if I go to the chest, I'm just going to show you. Now look, I have 115, but watch this. If I take the ruby out, this is how it can get you. This is why it's not a, like one-to-one -one, uh, duplication. See ammo? 
and rubies 115, you can actually lose that extra we just gained by doing this. So if I were to duplicate this ammo, watch what happens. You see it goes back to Rumi 58. I hit yes. See, it took the ruby away, right? So if I go to the chest, I have just the same amount. It should have, uh, what I was trying to show you is that it should, what should happen if I do this, Yeah, you can see it's just doing something weird. Um, it's putting one in or two in. But you can see rubies aren't going up, right? It's still stuck at 116. So you got to constantly take the rubies out. Go back to your inventory. This is just, you got to do this for a couple of items. You got to get one of your items up. And again, put them all away except for one. And now we're going to do the ammo over top of it again. And that actually didn't work. That took the rubies out. It's a little finicky, but again, there we go. Now, if we go back, the rubies should have gone up again. Now you see I'm 173. We take 173 back out, go back to our inventory. But now, let's say I want to do the reverse. Now that we got ruby high, but now we have ammo low. And we don't want to duplicate that. So now we want to duplicate the ruby to make higher ammo. We can do that by just going this way and hitting A. So left bumper instead of right bumper. You see how now it says ruby and ammo in the background? Watch this. I'm going to hit yes. I'm going to go into the chest. And now beautifully... Guess what has just happened? Ammo is now 173. So this gets rid of that myth that you can't have anything in the chest. And it doesn't matter what's in the chest. Don't that's a doesn't matter. So now you take the ammo out. Okay. Now we go back to inventory. Now we have 173 rubies, and now we can start really making double. So now we're gonna have to do ruby. Put one, all but one. And now, when we duplicate the ammo, it has 173. Turn, it'll turn this one into 173. One, two. That didn't work. Boom. So now if we go back to the chest, see? 345. So now you want to keep doing this back and forth until you get a large number. So now Ruby is larger, and that's lower. So we're now we're going to go reverse the other way. Left bumper A. See, ammo, ammo, no good. That would have not worked. It has to be right there. Ruby, ammo. We know I know that worked. Now if I go here, I should have 345 ammo. And I do. Take it out. Same thing. Go back to the inventory. And now we're going to put all of them back but one and go back, and now we're gonna do right bumper A and get the ruby to 345. Didn't work. That actually dumped it. You gotta be careful of that. So we'll just take it back out. It's not gonna work. I mean, it works pretty good every, almost every time. You just gotta get good at hitting the buttons like that. There we go. I know that worked. So now if I go to my rubies, it should have went up to 600 and something. And there we go. So now we take that out. We go to our inventory. And these bullets are the best, one of the best things to do. You're going to want a lot of bullets anyway. So now we're going to go and do the bullets. Left bumper A. Nope, that did ammo. There we go. Boom. To the chest. 689 ammo. Beautiful thing. Now we go back here. This is, nobody shows you how to get the number building. They show you how to do the root, the, the duplicate, but they don't explain it and tell you how it works. This is how it works. So now you can see I'm doubling up. This is how you make the money. So now I'm going to go back to Ruby. Again, put them all away except for one. We'll go to the ammo. Right bumper. Boom. That should have worked. Now look at Ruby, 13. And this could just keep going on. I'd suggest not going higher than 6,000 
just because, um, yeah, it's not going to, you're, it could crash your game. So after this, I'm not going to make any more ammo because I'm not going to need any more than this. Go back here. You can see 13 something ammo. Inventory. Now they both match. Ruby. Just want to keep one. We just want to keep doing rubies, but you do need to get one item this high. So I don't want to do ammo anymore. Just because I'm not trying to get ammo clogged up. So what you want to do is when you get an item that you don't no longer want to raise high on the list, we're gonna we're gonna bank the ammo and we're simply gonna go into our chest. Um, first we'll get the ruby because we want to do that at least one more time. And now we get something else that we want to get high up there, which a good choice would be health potions. And we got two of them. So you can see, you can see now I get the health potion here. And you see, I got all that other stuff in the in the place. It doesn't matter. Major health potions. Here we go. This should give it 2,000 right away. This is a good time to keep this at this number and dupe everything you got. See, that didn't work. It both says health potion. You got to do it again. Left bumper A. This should work. Now, if I go to the chest... Major health potion, look at that, done. And you can do it for all of these things, especially the ammo. But now, what we wanna do is take this out. And I don't wanna make too much higher uh, rubies, so I'm going to do this just one more time. And then I'm gonna show you, here we go, rubies back to one, the rest is depositive deposited by bumper A and I got messed up there it actually deposited that's okay let me do it again if it messes up no big deal there we go now when you go to sell which is what we're going to do right now you want to take You want to make sure to always leave one ruby behind or else you'll never have it to duplicate again. Not that you can't buy it back from the seller, but you can. So now you see I took 2,000 something and if I go to my inventory, I have one in my chest, I have one ruby. So now this is how you make your money and everything else. So now you simply just go. It's fine to, again, loot anything on the way. Because some of these things you may never find. You find one of. Duplicate. The main things that you want to duplicate also to craft upgrades for your weapons. I'll show you that really quickly. Because that's going to be another part of this uh, tutorial. Also, do not spend any points in Craftsman. Craftsman allows you to upgrade your weapon and armor. But you don't need that um, for what I'm going to show you. And you don't need... Um, also... In the other tree, don't spend anything on uh, science unless it's the last thing because I think it's talents. You can skip craftsman. The hell is it? Maybe it was... Uh, It must have been over here. No. Talents? It's got to be here somewhere. Yeah, science. Science lets you make potions and stuff. But with this duplication uh, thing, you're going to be able to duplicate and make any potions you want. So again, this is another tree you don't need. So you're not going to need anything in Craftsman when I show you how to get free upgrades. Well, well, free what you have to pay. And science, because you're going to duplicate any potions. So these are six points you'll never have to use unless you have extra ones after you do everything else. Do not do those. But simply right down here is where the, um, the merchant is, one of them. We're going to go to him first. I can't run because I'm overcomered because of all the stuff I have. But that's fine. But get good at doing the duplication clip. Rich and do it with something that's high 
uh, sale value, like the ruby. So I should get 6,000 gold from this. So now when I talk to this guy, I'm going to sell. And we're going to sell him all of the rubies. Remember, I have one still in my chest. Make sure you always have one left. Sell him this, and I go from 200 gold to 20, uh, 27,000 which is basically I can buy anything I want. Now, from here, I go to purchase. And just as an example, do they have anything good? This isn't bad. Take the regulation saver, okay? And you can buy anything for your, your guys now. And also take this chance to buy anything here that you don't have, just one, just one, because you don't need to, uh, so you can duplicate it, like the armor, just buy one. You don't need to buy all of them. One, one of everything is good practice. And then if you have duplicates, no big deal. But you have the money now to buy anything you want. This is just, just showing you. So the And the things that are going to use to make uh, upgrades are this. So I'm going to buy all of these. Refined ore. Crude iron. And um, let's see if he has any. Leather are what is needed to upgrade weapons. So those things don't cost anything. So if anything, I need to dupe those really quickly. What else am I carrying? I didn't, I didn't drop all the stuff I was carrying. So that, those are the, uh, the four items you need to do any upgrades on anything in the whole game. Um, so far that I've seen. So we're just going to go back here real quickly. I should have dropped that other stuff off. Sorry about that. And again, we've just started this island. I haven't done any missions on it yet. We're just duplicating, getting... Now we have our money up, and we've duplicated some things. So next thing is to duplicate... Come on, dude. Next thing is to duplicate all of the crafting items. So we need to put away all of this stuff that's weighing us down. I must be carrying, yeah, I'm carrying way too much stuff. Yeah, this is what it is, these things. Still overcumbered. I must be still carrying all those potions. It's the only explanation. Yep, I am. Okay, so now we have these swift potions, antidotes. We will dupe them later. The main thing you need to do duplicate are those things. So if you come here, this is the crafting station, which I, I talked about. You need the crafting skill, but don't waste any of your stuff because if you just look, um, I'll just do the pommel. You can see all these are locked because I don't have the skill to do it. Purple is the highest you can go. and you. But it does tell you the ingredients. So you can see pure iron ore. Refined iron ore, crude iron ore. So those are the three irons, pure, refined, and crude. And then the only other thing you need, and that is for, I think it's just for this, leather. And there's a special specialty slot, which is right here, the strap. And this uh, requires um, certain uh, skills to upgrade. So you will have to pick one. I suggest doing lockpick because it gives you a lockpick plus one. So that's usually the one I go for. I already have it. But you need craft level one. But you can see... I don't even need to fulfill any of these things. See how this stuff is locked? I'm just looking at what it what it needs. These needs ruby, um, leather. I want to just make the lock picking one, which is need for thieves. This is the highest one. So you need uh, pure iron ore and obsidian. So all I want to do is make sure that I have those. Ruby, I have one, which we need. Let 
They must be in my inventory. You see, I didn't even have any of that. Crude, refined. You see, I don't have any um, pure iron ore. But these are all objects, and they don't weigh anything that costs to make um, free adjustments. So we're going to take the health potion out because that's the biggest one we have. And we're going to just duplicate those very quickly. Once you know how to do it, so we're going to do Ruby again. Go back, Obsidian. Go back, Crude Iron. Didn't work. Didn't work. Crude Iron. Go back. <laughs> See? There we go. And Leather. Now, if we go in the chest, we should have them here. And these are the ones we need. All we need is pure iron, which we're going to get real quickly. These don't weigh you down at all. Um, it's just the potions that do. So we just need to um, put those away so we can run. Dump those away. And now you see, as you can see, if I go in my bag, you can see, come on, I have 2,000 of uh, rubies again and all that stuff. So now you want to just run this way, and this is what I'm talking about where you won't need craftsman uh, ship to make all the best upgrades anymore. You're going to go back the same way where this, this stand is. And instead of going through there, yeah, you're just going to go up this little road. And right here, as you can see here, this guy with the hammer on the map, that's the blacksmith. And if we go here, not only does he sell awesome weapons, but he's going to sell, he should sell the one item that we need to do really quickly. Um, oh, he doesn't have it on him. Oh, wait, to purchase. He should have pure iron. That's what we're looking for. See, that's the one we don't have, and it's expensive. So we need, we need that. Um, we don't need any of the other stuff. I'm going to run and duplicate that really quickly. Lucky for us, pure is at the top anyway, so we just need to go. Nope. And it has to say white bumper A. Nope. There we go. And now. We should be able to first to grab that. And now we have any everything we need for every upgrade. Um, we have the money. We have every item needed for the upgrades, like I said, and I'm just going to put that other stuff back so we can run. And now I'm gonna show you. We'll go back to the same guy, the blacksmith, but at least we can run there. And now you'll see why you don't need to buy or vest any points into upgrades, crafting. I always forget, it's right through here. Whatever that, get lost, that guy with the stand. But now we can go here, back to this guy. And have something crafted. So now, I have my saber, pommel, and look at this. All of these upgrades are unlocked. It just costs gold for him to do it, but we don't have to vest any points in crafting or anything. So we have this one, which is damage. 
but you want the purple of the highest one. So you want to go with whatever's purple. I'm going to go with this one for here. See, it takes a little bit of the crude oil. It takes the, the charges 120, who cares? We don't have to invest any points. And the guard, going to go with this one. That's it. Now, see that? Now I got the purple upgrades in there, and I didn't have to invest any points in crafting. And it works for um, armor, too. So if I went to my armor, what I was going to show you, have something crafted. Armor was even worse. So if I went to priest robes, the strap is the main one. He does. He takes all of them. I don't even need to do any of the other skills, science or anything, to build these. I just need ruby or obsidian or whatever, and I can do any of these, which these give you a point in science or this. I like this one. It gives you extra lock picking. But it's, it's you don't need to do any of those. And also, he sells really good stuff. So he usually sells weapons that are really are higher out of your grade anyway. Um, so you can buy, um, which is where I already have, he's selling buy this, but buy weapons for your, 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 uh, companions too. You got the money now. You, you, now you know how to get, um, the slots, everything slotted for free without putting any points in craftsmen or science. You can duplicate all the, po the potions you need. That's it. You've basically defeated the game at this point. And if you wanted to get EXP boost your guys, that's easy too. You continue down this way. And in this area here, right here, down this way, this part of the establishment is yeah, they're going to ask you to pay money. Just get it 25 gold. There's nothing at this point. Pay this guy the 25. And then down here, right through these doors, come on is the arena and the arena has five levels and the, if you win the arena you get a cool two-handed sword but it's a two-handed so unless you're making a two-handed character it's not that great and your companion can't carry it so but it doesn't matter and you have already a workbench and your storage which you can dupe straight from here okay but the arena here you can play, but you can play over and over again. It has five levels, but you want to play level two, round three, over and over again, and you'll get, I think it's five or 600 EXP points. Uh, you could see right now, yeah, that would bump me already to level six. And every time you, you can keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. And it's, uh, those are the best three things to start out. So like you, like, I, like you saw, I just got to this island. I duped this stuff, got money I needed, and now I'm uh, just getting ready to do the arena, the XP glitch, but I just showed you how to get your weapons, get them slotted for free so you don't have to waste any points. Because I, I started over because I wasted points in um, those... I wasted points in... Uh, there was it here craftsmanship i put two in here because i could put slots and then i found the blacksmith and i'm like shit i didn't even need it and science too i was going to put some in but i didn't so that's that'll save you points there as well and that's it and hopefully that explains how to do it because i know a lot of people run through that duplication and how it works and don't really explain it too well and then don't show you how to get the money from it and that and they definitely don't show you that slotting thing and not to do the, the stuff so hopefully all those tips together is helpful to you and you will destroy greed fall see the appropriate name for the game greed so you're supposed to do this okay <laughs> that's it